CBF stands for Connecting Europe Broadband Fund. The objective of this fund is to contribute to the Gigabit Society objectives of the European Commission. The main uh, Gigabit Society objective is to provide 100 megabit per second connectivity to every European household. So we had a first closing on the 27th of June 2018 at 420 million. We will continue to raise money over the next 18 months with a target objective of 500 million. Our public investors are the European Investment Bank, the European Commission, Casa Depositi et Prestiti, uh, KFW, and the French Caisse des Depots. We also had our first private investor. CBF can provide either equity or quasi-equity instruments. The ticket size uh, for each investment will be limited to 30 million for CBF. So this is why uh, for each and every project we will look for additional investors to come on board. What type of projects uh, are eligible for the fund? So first of all, they have to be technically and eco economically viable. We are not subsidizing, we are looking for profitable projects. This is a very important point. One of the additional criteria is that we, have, we want to invest into open access uh, networks. We are not interested in a uh, vertically integrated model. We believe that uh, in the future, uh, the infrastructure should be based on open access models. In terms of speed, uh, as we are contributing to the Gigabit Society, the objective is to provide connectivity of 100 megabit per second with uh, upgradability uh, up to 1 gigabit. So which are, what are the networks which uh, can uh, fit with those requirements? Of course we have FTTH, but we are also open to wireless solutions such as 5G or even 4G in some areas. Uh, CBF will invest uh, in underserved areas where we believe there is still a strong opportunity for profitability because we will be the only network in, this, uh, in these areas. The countries which are eligible for CBF are the European Union countries. Uh, and in addition, we can also invest in Norway and into Iceland. QBIM is the manager of the fund and can be contacted if more information is needed.